Hi, I'm the American Dragon, and I know it gets a little confusing sometimes. Sometimes I wear the mask, sometimes I don't. But I want you people to know that even though I'm injured, I can still be very entertaining and keep you late night viewers from switching the channel. Hey, Memfo, Mofo here, and how about another chit chat with the champ, the Power Pro champ and the MCW champ? Well, it looks like I got a little room left on my shoulder, so hey, cameraman, why don't you throw me your belt too? No, seriously, why don't you throw me your belt too or I'll whip you like my daddy used to whip me? There you go. Now, Power Pro champ, MCW champ, and the Who's Your Daddy, baddest mofo in Memfo champ! <laughs> I'm outrageous, I'm contagious, and most of all, I'm Rod Rages. So let me tell you something, all you cow-humping rednecks. After tonight, I'll be wearing the gold. You know what I'm saying, mofo? Because I'm going to go through you like, uh... Like, uh, come on, what are you idiots helping me out over here? I'm gonna go through you like white on rice, brother. Dude, what, what is this stuff? Outrageous tag titles on the line later today. Plus, we have Alkeholic standing by with this special announcement. Thanks, Jet. If you watch late night TV, you probably know that I used to be the referee for kick ass wrestling. Well, now that Memphis Championship Wrestling is back on late night, I thought I thought it was time for uh, 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 I'll be right back, baby. See. Would you stop, man? No one doing? tunes in late at night to hear you sing. What are you doing, bro? You they keep tuning in me. late at night to see this sexy right body. Here. Right, right here, right here. If we can just stay here, talk to us. <laughs> uh, well done, fellas. One for you. Yes, one for you. <laughs> Yo, wait, go get some tequila. Hey, you want some uh, tequila? What I say? Uh, Take three. I busted my ass around here in this territory for KW, from MCW, and then I got this guys like Spanky coming in. But that's one thing, because that's family. And then I got Enrique and that other goof that he's got with him. This really only room around here for one hometown hero, and that's me. So the other one's got to go. Get behind the wheel. it up because you're going south the 35 greatest southern rock hits of all time David Jett here at ringside in Rector, Arkansas, as Scott Vick enters the ring for this one-on-one -on -one matchup against Pecas, formerly of the Mean Street Posse. He's kind of gone quite a change recently, soaking up the cheers of the fans instead of the booze. We have got a wild night of action lined up for you guys tonight. Coming up later, tag team titles on the line, the Duffs will be defending those titles they won just a few weeks ago. And also, Steve, who's your daddy? Bradley will be defending the Power Pro Heavyweight title and the NCW Southern Heavyweight title against Pete's former Mean Street Posse buddy, Rod Rages. Also tonight, Derek King, a favorite in Power Pro Wrestling, will be making his MCW television debut. And Scott Vick charges in, gonna get this thing off to a quick start. Pete. 
Kind of turns the tables there. Also later tonight, we'll have that major announcement from Alki Hollick. Alki a little indisposed a few minutes ago. So we will have that announcement coming up later tonight. You'll want to stick around for that. Scott Vick, very strange individual. And I'm not talking about just the, the fact that he hangs out with seven who's a card-carrying freak. But there's just something weird about this guy. In the last few weeks, he's been relatively quiet here in MCW. We've been trying to figure out what exactly is going on inside that mind of his. He had been having his problems with Slash. But over the last couple weeks, Slash nowhere to be seen. You gotta wonder, does Scott Vick have something to do with that? I've noticed that if you have a problem with Scott Vick, or he has one with you in a few weeks, buddy, disappear. Shoulder tackle, a lot of feet, gas. Jumps over Scott Vick, tries for a hip toss, Pete reverses it. And it scoops him up for a big power slam. Drop kick out of Pete Gas. Well, I didn't know that big guy was this agile. He's really on fire since the breakup of the Mean Street Posse. And of course, everybody's fired up. Trying to get as many victories as possible going in to the big event in Jonesboro, Arkansas, February 21st, the showdown at the Nut House. A lot of important matches going on that night. We'll be telling you more about those later in the show. Pete Gass has Scott Vick by the hair. He's gonna drag him back in the ring the hard way. Look out. Pete caught that rope right across the throat. Referee Mike Johnson checking on him there. Here comes Vick with an elbow. Sends Pete into the ropes. Lowe's lines him down. A kick for good measure. Scott Vick, a very methodical wrestler. Come on, get up. Come on, one, Always has some two, sort of game plan, whether it's legal or not. Referee asking him what he's doing. He's choking him. I think that was pretty obvious. Pete being hammered in the corner. Series of kicks to the midsection and a boot to the throat. Okay, so obviously thus far in the matchup, Scott Vick's game plan is to choke Pete Gass as often as possible. Snap mirrors him over. Drop kick to the back of the head. He's going to attempt the pin here. One, two, three. Pete Gass got his right shoulder up on that one. Quick reminder here to all the fans. MCW Wrestling coming to a town near you this Friday night. Ripley, Tennessee, National Guard Armory. And then Saturday night, we're in Covington, Tennessee at their National Guard Armory. Two big events this weekend. Pete Gass into the corner. He's got big meets with an elbow. He loses a little bit of steam here. Gets reversed into the... Oh, wait a minute. Seven from outside the ring. I didn't even see him come out here. Now referee Robert Malone's coming out to send him back to the dressing room. Man, look at him staring Malone. Seven's going back to the dressing room, but the damage has been done when he reached in, swept Pete's feet out from under him. Now Scott Vick starting to dissect him. Modified atomic drop and a cover. Count of two. Count of count of two. Another chokehold out of Scott Vick. He's begging Pete to get up. Hammers him across the back. I guess you heard that. Pete into the ropes, catches. 
a high knee. Oh, Pete looks like he's about out of it. Lateral press. Pete manages to get out of it. Once again at the count of two, it's been all Scott Vick for the last few minutes of this matchup. Vick fires Pete into the ropes, back body drop, no, sunset flip. Pete has him down. Vick out of it. He's got a little steam left in him. Well, he might have had it taken out of him right there. And look at the expression on Scott Vick's face. What a sick son of a... Grabs Pete by the hair. Finish him off here, possibly. Scott Vick going to look for a high impact move here. You shut up. Scott Vick down and meets Pete Gass. Big boot. Both men down on the canvas. Referee starting the count here. I can tell you what, nobody wants to be counted out in this matchup. Seven. Everybody vying for a high profile spot on that Joe's Burrow card. Billy the back suplex out of gas. And Mike Johnson's gonna start the count again. This time Pete Gas is gonna get to his feet quicker. Scott Vick reaching for the ropes for a little bit of help. Heats up. It starts pounding away. The fists are flying onto Scott Vick. Fires him off into the ropes. Picks him up, side slam. Jars is fine, two and new. He frustrated with that one. Setting him up for a suplex. Scott Vick blocks it. Reverses. And what a snap suplex. That's going to do a count of two and a count of no gas out of it. And Vic wondering how Gas got out of that one. Whip into the ropes. Meets him with the boot. Misses with the clothesline. And Gas has him. Another side slam. Scott Vic out of it. Pete starting to wonder what it's going to take to put Scott Vick away. I'm sure Vick's thinking the same thing about gas. Whip into the corner. Here comes gas charging, but no, Vick. Pulled the referee in the way. Mike Johnson goes down. And Scott Vick is now going to try to take advantage of that. Slingshot elbow off the ropes. What a beautiful maneuver that is. Scott Vick has that one perfected, and it is so effective. Ref still down. Here comes Scott Vick. But Pete's got him for the gas mask. Look out. Here comes Seven back into the ring. Misses with the shot. Oh, sprays the miss right into Pete Gas's face. Gas blinded. And here comes Scott Vick with the Death Valley driver. Nails feet. Mike Johnson coming back over there. You see seven glaring on as Scott Vick picks up the victory. And you wonder is Scott Vick. Well, seven certainly played an important role in this matchup. Seven, Scott Vick's personal henchman. We got much more to go tonight, man. Take a look at Pete Gash. You can see the effects on that mist. I love your new look. <laughs> it's, a, it's pretty outrageous, isn't it? Yeah, and the hat is great, and I really love the boa. Hey, what do you think you're doing, boy? Hey, do hey you want to my shirt, girl? I ain't out of you trying to shoot your gun when you walk around. Well, you know, when you're walking to the ring with the wrestler night after night, you know, you become... You know, you develop a bond, and they get attached to you, but, you know, I become fond of them. But, you know, some of these macho guys get a little out of hand and take it a little overboard. But then again, wouldn't you take it overboard if you had a body like this?
Before you choose a security company, consider... I'm Jack Duff. This is my brother, Bo. And we are the Duff family. And we're not in a good mood. Things are actually going well for us. We're the Southern Tag Team Champions. We got a bush in the White House again. And after the show tonight, we'll get to leave this backwater state of Arkansas. But we're still not happy. You see, we're being forced to defend our tag team titles against Joey Abs and whatever partner his choice is tonight. And we're not going to be happy until Joey gets what's coming to him. Yeah, ripped in half. Another thing that bothers us is we're not going to be happy until these little mongoloid midgets, the click, come to the realization that they're too small to be up here playing with the big boys. Yeah, midgets suck. So, click, last time you wrestled us, Spanky Shooter Schultz, you lost the tag team titles. If you wrestle us again, you're going to lose a lot more. Yeah, like a few inches. <laughs> The bottom line is, you got the Dumps, the new Southern Tag Team Champions. Did they win it clean? Ah, ah. But you know what, son? I don't give a damn, because the Dumps are nothing. You got this big goof named Jack Dump. He looks kind of like the Scarecrow. <laughs> we only little breed. And you got this other goof, Bo Dump, wishes he was a bushwhacker. Yeah! You know what I think about the Dumps? I'll tell you what I think about the Dumps. They're nothing but a couple of... Wait, shoot, hold on. Dumps. We have a little response for you. You'll see it in the ring later tonight. <laughs> wow, Derek King's finally come to MCW. <laughs> I'm just gonna go out there and have the best match I can. I mean, I'm gonna wrestle a rocker tonight, and all I can say is after the match, it's gonna be some high-fiving for Derek King. Man, what did Spanky mean when he said, we'll get his response to the Dubs later tonight in the ring? What, the, what does a click have in store for us tonight here? Fabulous Rocker in the ring. He's had his problems with Spanky. His brother, of course, we saw earlier that Spanky had hired the Salsario boys to take care of baby brother. And here's Derek King making his Memphis Championship Wrestling Unleashed television debut. A lot of people have been asking, hey, we see Derek on Power Pro. When's he gonna be on Memphis Championship Wrestling? Well, he's here, stop whining. Coming up later today, the Ducks will be defending Southern Tag Titles. And we found out that they'll be facing the team of Joey Abs, and Joey has chosen Lance K to be his partner. Probably about the only person left in Memphis Championship Wrestling that Joey Abs can really trust. Joey's probably the one last person that Lance K can trust. Derek King, clinch it on with the wrist lock. A very effective way of getting out of it there, out of the fabulous Rocker. Rocker says he's got the body of the millennium. You dispute that, leapfrog out of Derek King. Look at that, Rocker lands on his feet like a cat, ducks a clothesline into the ropes, and Derek King with a head scissors takedown on the fabulous rocker falls up with a series of drop kicks and he's not letting up for a second fires rocker into the ropes reversal here comes Derek king fires out with the clothesline one a one count only as rocker is up and out of it this match is going to be very fast paced i can tell you that Derek king and fabulous rocker both very quick and agile wrestlers Fabulous Rocker was the very first Memphis Championship Wrestling Light Heavyweight Champion for losing that belt. His brother Spanky, the current champion, although it looks like Spanky and the Click have other things on their minds tonight, namely the Duffs. Fist out of Derek. Rocker reverses that one, comes charging in, only to catch a big boot. Oh, but there's a clothesline out of Rocker. Small arms pack a lot of power on that. Oh, there's a shot right to the bridge of the nose. Fires Derek off of the ropes. Meets him again right to the face with that high knee. Don't forget, good seats still available for the showdown at the Nuthouse Jones for Arkansas. 
Wednesday night, February 21st, we know Kurt Angle. The Olympic hero will be taking on Triple H in that big main event. Count of two. Derek King out of it. Rocker wanting to get a submission out of Derek King here. Oh. The rocker is really working on Derek's nose. Don't forget, coming up later today, we still will have a major announcement from Alki Hollick. We tried to get it earlier, but Alki had other things to attend to, obviously. The guys probably had about a case of bud by now. Rocker down for the cover, too. Whoa, Derek King barely out of that one. And now here's something we've seen Rocker do many times before. He ascends to the top rope. Setting up for Centon Bobbin Brother. He missed it. He came crashing down. Derek out of the way. Perfect opportunity for Derek King to take advantage here. A little too slow in getting up. Rocker, oh, look out. Derek catches him. Series of fists sends Rocker really. And now Derek's going to shoot him off into the ropes. Rocker reverses it. Derek King with the neck breaker. Sends Rocker up into the lights here in Rector, Arkansas. Fires him off. Another reversal. Leapfrog out of Derek King. Super kick. Derek, go for the cover. Malone down. One. And at the count of one, Rocker gets his boot. He drapes it over the bottom rope. That's going to break up that count. Rocker climbs the ropes. Oh, clubs, Derek, right in the back of the head. Rocker saying, the hell with this. He's going for the sign. His old trusty friend here, he's won many a match with this, but not right in front of the referee. Malone takes a set. Wait a minute. We've got Salsario boy Enrique in behind the ref's back. He's got, oh, man. Trash can lid across the top of the head. And now Derek King with the X Factor. The pin, one, two, three, and Derek King is going to pull out the victory. Thanks in no small part to Enrique, who's still going after the rocker. How much money did Spanky pay him? Don't go anywhere, because coming up in just a few minutes, we have that tag title matchup. The Southern Tag Team Title Champions, the Dups. We'll be defending those titles, the Dups here, getting ready for, wait, that's not the Dups, that's, what? Hey Lance, me and you tonight versus the Dups. Yeah. I've had a lot of problems with people turning on me in the past. I don't want that to happen with you. So, uh, you got my back tonight or what? Hey, you don't need to worry about me. What I want to know is, do you got my back tonight? Don't worry about me. I'll be there for you. All right, I'll see you out there then. Attention fans, have you always dreamed of working in the professional wrestling business? Well, here's your chance. Memphis Championship Wrestling is looking for interns and individuals who want to be a part of the Memphis Championship Wrestling team. We have a number of opportunities in advertising, marketing, promotions, sales, television, and more. Contact us today. Send your resume to MCW, Post Office Box 751-733, Memphis, Tennessee, 38175. Or email us at mcwwrestling at hotmail.com. Join the Memphis Championship Wrestling team today. Beauty, adventure, drama, all these and more can be yours in the wonderful world of art. And with this free art test from Art Instruction Schools, you can find out if you have the interest and desire needed to become a serious art student. To get your free art test without cost or obligation, call this toll-free number. Don't delay. Call this toll-free number now. Call 1-800-351-9922. For some hot action tonight. Hot wild babes want to light your fire. Call 1 800 566 HOT. That's 1 800 566 HOT. Talk with hot babes for only 69 cents a minute. I'll light up your night. Call now. 
It's President's Days at Oak Express. And for a limited time, anything you can sit on, eat on, work on, or sleep on is now available with no payments, no interest, and no money down for one full year. Choose from hundreds of styles and items to furnish any room in your home, all with no payments, no interest, and... I love your new look. <laughs> It's pretty outrageous, isn't it? Yeah, and the hat is great, and I really love the boa. Hey, what do you think you're doing, boy? Hey, hey you want to boa show me, girl? Hey, no, How are you trying to shoot your gun? You you walk around here. Well, that's what went down earlier tonight. Things getting heated between Rod Rages and the mofo Steve Bradley. They'll be facing each other tonight in the main event, and now the click in the ring, not the ducks. It's the click, and Jason Sensation asking for the microphone. I guess this is a response we were promised. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm out here with the new Southern Tag Team Champions, the Ducks! I'm sorry, my apologies. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Southern Tag Team Champions, the Dumps! <laughs> My apologies again. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the new Southern Tag Team Champions, the Dumps. Did I get it right this time? You got it right, Jason. I'm jacked up. He's bowed up. The Dumps. Jack? Bowed up. More like more the Dumps. Okay, well, Dumps. Bowed up, actually. You became the new Southern Tag Team Champions by defeating the greatest team in the history of wrestling, the Click 2000. How could you beat such an unbelievably great team? I'll tell you, Jason, the same way we beat every team. We cheated. Well, Bodup, Bodup, I got another question for you. Now that you have those Tag Team Championships, I hear that you don't want to defend them. Is that true? Yeah. That's right, Jason. Because we're scared. We're scared of the click. Because they're more handsome than us. They're stronger than us. They're better wrestlers than us. And they're right here. The top. Charging the ring. Jack up. Takes down Shooter. It's Boda. Doing a number on Spanky. And here comes Lance Cade and Joey Abs right in the nick of time. They're on top of the Ducks. The click has scattered outside the ring and look at clothesline out of Joey Abs. We've got this tag title match coming up. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can get some order restored here. We're gonna take a timeout, get the click back to the dressing room. Here we go, in case you just joined us, this matchup is for the Southern Tag Team titles currently held by the Ducks. They're facing Joey Abs and Lance Cade. The click have been sent back to the dressing room area. We got this matchup underway. A lot of bad blood between the Ducks and Joey Abs. They went from the best of friends to the most heated enemies. And look at Jack Duck clubbing away at Joey Abs in the corner. Shut up, Jack Duck. Abs, wow. Look at the strength of Abs as he tosses. Jacked up, back over, fired away off on him, whips him into the turnbuckle, back body drop. And, oh, there's one for Boat up, too. Close lines, jacked up, and Jack is going to head out of the ring. And Joey Abs is really fired up. He's waited for this opportunity to get his hands on the Ducks, get a little bit of payback for what they've done to him over the last few weeks. The Ducks want a little time out. Hey, you guys had two, three minutes when we were in commercial break. Isn't that enough? Let's get this matchup going here, Ducks. Maybe the click had a point earlier. Hey, keep it in the ring. You want some of me? Yeah, come on. You want me? Bring it. Going to tag out the brother Bo Duck. And now we're going to see Bo square off against Joey F. See if he has any better luck. Collar and elbow lockup, center of the ring. Side headlock out of Joey Abs. Bo Duck's going to power his way out of it, shoots him off in the ropes, takes a shoulder tackle. Here comes Joey Abs again, full head of steam. Bo Duck going for the hip toss. Abs reverses it. And the big, crazy Bo Duck up in the air. Down hard on the mat. Joey Abs going to tag out to Lance Cade, who makes his first appearance here in this tag team matchup. Little double team maneuver here. Lance Cade drops down with the elbow. Going for the cover. Count of two. Oh. Uh, 
jacked up in there, but I think Bo got a shoulder up anyway. You really got to throw some stuff at these Duffs. They're big, vicious men. It's going to take a lot to keep them down, to get that shoulders down to the mat for the three count. Flying elbow out of Lance Cade. Drop kick. Well, this young Texan's really fired up here, too. Deep arm drag. Has bowed up in control on the mat. And Joey Absent looks like somewhere during that last exchange, one of his earrings got kind of ripped there on his ear. Joey Abs bleeding, but he's one tough son of a bitch. It'd take a lot more than that to take Joey Abs out of this matchup. He's waited for this for far too long. A chance at payback on the Duffs, a chance for the Southern Tag Team titles. Both of these teams will be in action this weekend. Oh, look out. Jacked up, grabs Lance Cade's foot, and that allows Boda the opportunity to clothesline him down to the floor. Joey Abs, the blood flowing from his ear, wanting to get a piece of Boda. Joey Abs letting his anger get the best of him there, and that allows the Duffs to go to work on Lance Cade. As I was saying, both of these teams will be in action this weekend, Friday night. We're in Ripley, Tennessee. Bell time, 8 o'clock, National Guard, Armory, and Saturday night, Memphis Championship. Oh, wait a minute, cover! Lance Kate out. Saturday night, Memphis Championship Wrestling comes to Covington, Tennessee. First time for Memphis Championship Wrestling in Covington. Hope to see you all out there. Bell time, 8 o'clock, double shoulder tackle out of the ducks. Two big, powerful guys, a cover. Hooks the leg to Lance Cade. Gets the shoulder up there. The Ducks can take the most simple maneuver and make it devastating just because of their size and power. Lance Cade. Out of the team of Cade and Joey Abs, Lance has a little less experience. I guess you could say he's the junior member of this tag team. I think the Duffs kind of sense that. They're trying to cover. He only got to a count of one there, and Joey Abs was coming in the ring. Jack Duff saw him. So, uh -huh. Not going to lay here while you come in and put the boots to me. And out. Look at Lance Cade fire back. Oh, Jack Duff has him. Yeah. Belly to back suplex. Jack Duff trying to break this Texan in half. Come on, come on, Joey Abs leading the cheers. And Lance K desperately needs a tag at this point. Joey Abs, man, is ready. He's ready for the Duffs. This is his night. He's just got to get in there. Here comes a splash out of Boat Up. And a cover. Count of one, two, and count of two. Boat Up thinks it was three. Not sure Boat Up can count. Small package out of Lance K. He's got him down. Boat Up out of it. Ooh, and he was waiting on him for that one. Come on. Hey, trash Stop. Come Grabs on, Cade by the hair. He's going to drag him over to the ropes. Stop. Choking him. Yeah, Bowed up. I think he's about to trash knock the referee out. Headbutt. Boy, he's just grabbing all of Lance Cade's hair. Continuing the violent assault. Lance Cade out of desperation, firing some shots to the midsection. Into the ropes for some momentum. Oh, man. And gets taken right over the top rope down to the floor again, where Bo Duff will go to work. Joey Abs in the ring trying to get it jacked up. Referee Mike Johnson having his problems holding the big Joey Abs back. Well, ref just let him go. Body slam and a lateral press. Come on, Lance. Did not hook the leg on that one, and Lance Cade had enough. Wits about him to slide out of that. Checked up, has him by the tile. Back outside the ring again. Oh, look at him taunt Joey Abs. He knows exactly what Abs is going to do. Abs is going to try to get in there and kick his ass. Oh, look at him. He's on there. Checked up, cowering in the corner. Mike Johnson. Oh, look at Abs. He is hot. And here comes Lance Cade, sunset flip. 
Count of one, two. And we almost had new tag team champions right there. Joey Abs telling Lance K to fight. That is exactly what you have to do against the Ducks. You have to fight. Jacked up going in with rear chin lock. Drags Lance K down to the mat, putting all of his weight on top of him. Ref down there checking to see if Lance K wants to give it up and also to make sure that hold does not change into a choke hold. Very likely out of the Ducks. Lance K back up to a vertical base. Ducks clothesline, flying body press. Kind of, oh man. It's about a one and a half there. And a big kick. He's finally taken jacked up off his feet. And now's the perfect opportunity for Lance K to get to his corner and get that tag on Joey Abs. And man, if there were ever a guy that wanted to tag in, it is Joey Abs. He is set on go over there. Lance K just a few feet away. Tag made out to Bowed Up. And Lance K gets. No, he will not get that tag. Bowed Up in. Man, what a missed opportunity there for the team of Joey Abs and Lance K. Bowed Up fires him off into the rope, sets up, ducks his head down, and Lance K takes advantage of that clothesline. Come on, Bo! And now another chance. You don't get many chances like this against the Ducks. Bowed Up tags out to Jack, and Lance K does get the tag to Joey Abs, who comes in. Ball of fire. He's taking on both of the Ducks. Here goes Jack. Suplex. Abs not even going to go for the cover. He's going after Bo. What a vicious slam. And now Joey Abs pounding away on him on the mat. Oh, kick to the back of the head. That's going to slow Abs up a little bit, but Lance Cade has got a second win here. Back in to help out his partner. They've got both the Dups in the corner. Fire them out. They collide. Center of the ring. And now it's Bo Dup's turn to get tossed to the outside. Southern tag team titles on the line right here tonight. Golden opportunity for Joey Abs and Lance Cade. Oh, but look out. Oh, Lance Cade right into your living room there, but mostly right into the ring post. That's pretty much going to take him out of action for a while here. Joey Abs. He's going to set up for the absolute. He's got jacked up up. If he connects, we have new Southern. Oh, look out. Bowed up with the chair. Referee calling for the bell. It's going to be a disqualification on the Dups, and here come the click. Van Daminator on Bowed Up out of Spanky. And Shooter going to work on Jacked Up. The Dups will keep the titles on the disqualification. They've got Jacked Up in the ring. They Wait a minute. Brain Scrambler. They put the Dups on move on Jacked Up, and now Spanky going for the chair. He's going to injure him. Joey Abs back in the ring, pushing Spanky off. Say, wait a minute, guys. Hold on, let's get this situation cleared up. Referee trying to get them all out of here, trying to restore some order. Landscape Joey Abs trying to escort the click out of here after they've done the damage to the Ducks. But you know the history with Lance Cade and the click. They want no part of this Spanky and Shooter. Boy, are they ticked off. Dup still the tag champs. Right now, we have that major announcement from Alki Holic. Alki, are you there, buddy? Take it away. See that jet? That's what I'm talking about. As soon as somebody picked up a chair, the ref rings a bell, match over. Nothing got solved at all with those guys in there. Well, I remember a time in Memphis when somebody picked up a chair, the match was just getting started. Now, I don't have the stroke that I used to have around here, but I still got just a little bit of stroke, and I've been to the Memphis Championship officials. You know, Mick Foley got fired, Dundee's off with his adult entertainment business, and uh, now that we're on light night on UPN 30, then I can do what I want to do. Now, I used to referee. Well, right now, they're giving me the permission to start up a hardcore division. That's right, a hardcore division, Jeff. Yeah? And I'm going to referee all the matches, and pretty soon we're going to uh, have a champion. So uh, get ready for the hardcore division. Hardcore division? Listen, brother, I'm Stoney McGraw. I'm the toughest guy in this territory. Here's a pencil. Take some notes. Got that tough guy? Who's that guy?
Attention fans, have you always dreamed of working in the professional wrestling business? Well, here's your chance. Memphis Championship Wrestling is looking for interns and individuals who want to be a part of the Memphis Championship Wrestling team. We have a number of opportunities in advertising, marketing, promotions, sales, television, and more. Contact us today. Send your resume to MCW, Post Office Box 751-733, Memphis, Tennessee, 38175. Or email us at mcwwrestling at hotmail.com. Join the Memphis Championship Wrestling team today. Ladies and gentlemen, Rondo Records is socking it to you with Millennium Soul Party. Party soul stomping hits on two CDs of cassette. I feel good. With Mr. James Brown, the marvelous Marvin Gaye, and the queen of soul, Miss Aretha Franklin. Millennium Soul Party will make you jump, shout, and work it on out with nearly two hours of stone solid soul hits from The Supremes. The Tempting Temptations and Wilson, the Wicked Picket. You'll be down on your knees begging, please, 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 with songs like When a Man Loves a Woman. Um, I was the top man in hardcore. There wasn't nobody that could beat me. I guess I just have to go back to what I used to do and go back to my roots. Is that what this blonde hair is all about? What is that stuff this, eh? You see, man, I'm going back to my roots, bro. Hey, bro, I thought we was boys. Get his brains beat out. What's gonna happen? I'm still reeling from that announcement from Alki Holic. I knew the action was gonna get wild here on Memphis Championship Wrestling Unleashed. But Alki saying that we're gonna be getting a hardcore division. The action's gonna get hardcore in Memphis Championship Wrestling. And Steve. Who's your daddy, Bradley, along with the lovely Victoria entering the ring. He's defending both the titles tonight. The MCW Southern Heavyweight title and the Power Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. And here's the challenger, formerly of the Mean Street Posse, it's Rod Rageous. What a style change for the former Rodney. Earlier tonight, his former tag team partner, Pete Gass, didn't have the best of, best of luck in his match against Scott Vick. We'll see how Rod Rages fares tonight. We know Rod Rages will be facing Kay Quick at the showdown at the Nuthouse, Jonesboro, Arkansas, on February 21st. Tickets still available. Just call up the ASU Convocation box office. Steve Bradley, that same night, will be facing William Regal. More matches to be announced. Jerry the King Lawler, the cat, on that big card. And Rod Rages starting out pretty quick here. Hammered away on the mofo. Fires him off into the ropes. Hip toss. Coming in with an arm drag. Drop kick. And Bradley out on the floor. Rodney going out after him. The outrageous Rod Rages. What a flamboyant guy. Steve Bradley. Having a little conference with Victoria. What's he cooking up over there? I'm sure it's not plans on where they're gonna eat after the show. Rod Ray just better look out for Victoria. Oh, here she comes in the ring. Oh, that's gonna give Steve Bradley the Pearl Harbor opportunity. Hey, Steve Bradley, he'll, he'll take what he can get. He's not going to lie to you. He'll do whatever it takes to keep both those titles around his waist. But look, Rod Rage is down for the cover. Bradley out. Almost got him there. Surprise the mofo. Butterfly suplex. Another lateral press. Two and oh, Victoria pulls Rod Rage out of the ring by his leg. He's staring at her like, what the? Now he's going after Victoria. Bad mistake there, Rod Rages. Bradley, outside of the ring, laying in wait. There you go, right around the corner, and Bradley connects with that clothesline. Action down in the front row here in Rector, Arkansas. As Bradley slams Rod's head into one of the chairs. Now he's gonna toss him back in the ring where he can inflict even more damage.
hardcore division coming to Memphis Championship Wrestling. And I wonder who exactly will be competing in that division. You know, it's not everybody that wants to step in a ring with tables and chairs and trash cans and boards and chains. Although some of that stuff sounds right up Steve Bradley's alley. Knee to the midsection, sends Rod Rages reeling. Now he's gonna take the outrageous one over to the corner, over to the ropes, where Victoria chokes the life out of him. Pin out of Bradley. Rodney is way too close to the ropes there. It's gonna break up that pin attempt. Look at Rod Rages fighting back, even as he's trying to get to his feet. Break of the eye is gonna slow him down a little bit. Head into the top turnbuckle. Bradley fires him off into the ropes. Comes charging in, and Rod Rages out of the way. Bradley saddles the second turnbuckle. Wait a minute. Steve Bradley going for a little ride there. I'm not, hey, look out, Victoria in the ring, up on the rope. DDT off the top rope onto Rod Rages. I don't believe it. Rod's out of it here. Steve Bradley crawling over for the cover. He's going to take it here. One, two, and a no. Rod Rages got a shoulder up. Look at disappointment there on the face of Steve Bradley. Both men still very much in this matchup. Belly to back suplex. Rodney floats over. Knee to the midsection and a DDT on the mofo. Both men down on the mat. Referee told him the count, of course, if there's a count out, the title stay with Steve Bradley. Rod Rages does not want that. He's up to five. And Bradley, back to his feet, so is Rodney. Blocks a shot and fires away. Fist to the top of the head. Sends him into the ropes. Back body drop. Rodney ready, saying, come on. Show me what you got here. Backs him up into the corner. Whips him out, charges in, catches a boot. And Bradley, he's going over the corner. He's grabbing one of his title belts. Referee spots it and stops him. Meanwhile, Victoria's in the ring on Rodney. And, oh, baby. Malone got that title belt from Steve Bradley. Now he's trying to get Victoria out of the ring. Wait, Bradley's got another one of the belts. I guess that's the advantage. Oh, man, did he nail Rodney. Referee down, one, two, and three, and Mofo keeps the goal. That's one advantage of having two championships. Ref takes one belt from you, just grab the other. Victoria's got the gold, and Bradley, once again, can lay claim to being the baddest mofo in the show. Memphis Championship Wrestling next week right here. I'm going to go back to my roots, the hardcore division. I'm going to show you what it's all about because mama. Talking about you hardcore, I'm the hardcore man around here. And not only that, but I am the sexiest man. Ugh.